Hello, uh, welcome to Having a Baby. I'm Poroshka Cavell. I'm a midwife living and working here in the UK. I'm also known as Midwife Dave because people struggle to say my name and so I was nicknamed Midwife Dave. So I'm doing a series of videos on different topics surrounding pregnancy, childbirth um, and postnatal period. Today's little video is about the pelvic floor. Now this is something you may have heard of, you may not have done, but it's really important that you are aware of this um, during pregnancy and afterwards and throughout your life. Okay, the pelvic floor, what is it? The pelvic floor is a sort of hammock of muscles that sits in your pelvis and supports your um, pelvic organs, so your um, bladder and your uterus. Now, obviously, when you're pregnant, um, these have to work really hard because your uterus is going to grow a whole person in it, it's got fluid and a placenta, and it's got to keep everything in place. This helps keep your organs in place. It also helps with the tone of your vagina and, and helps to prevent prolapses, such as prolapsed bladders and uterus when they come down, and walls of the vagina and the rectum. Those are all quite intense things that are quite rare, so don't be worrying about those. Our main concern for your pelvic floor is to make sure that you remain continent um, after pregnancy. And that means that you're not going to wee yourself when you cough, laugh or sneeze, and you're not going to poo yourself either. Okay, so I think you'll agree that's fairly important. And the third bonus is it will help enhance your sex life because you will be wanting to have sex again. All right, so how do you exercise these? Um, why is it so difficult? So, they're very small muscles, and in pregnancy, they're working really hard to support this growing uterus and uh, lots of increased um, blood volume in your body, but also your body releases relaxin, which is a chemical designed to relax, as it says, all the ligaments and muscles and enable them to stretch. So not only can you grow a person, um, but you can push a person out of your vagina. So these are taking a real onslaught, this pelvic floor. So how are you going to help it? First of all, you've got to find them. So you may not be aware of them. You may have heard people say, oh, you know, it's when you stop yourself peeing halfway through. So when you're um, passing urine and you hold it for a second, um, and that is your pelvic floor, but that's not a great way to exercise them, and that could actually lead to infection. So a great tip that we use is first of all, locate them. So think about when you're desperate to open your bowels, you're desperate to go for a poo, and you've got to hold it because you're not near a toilet. So that's one part of your um, pelvic floor muscles, and that's your anal sphincter, so you're clenching your bum hole. The second part is, if you're lucky enough to have orgasms, um, is that vaginal contraction that you get. Maybe if you use tampons, when you're popping a tampon in and you're trying to hold onto it, okay, um, that is clenching your vagina, okay, and that is um, your pelvic floor's muscles helping you do that. And thirdly, is when you're busting for a wee, so you, um, and you're trying to hold that in because you're not near a toilet, okay, and that is, again, your urethra, those sphincters there, that's all part of your pelvic floor muscles, your pelvic floor muscles help lift and tone all of that. So if you can just find one of those, and when I say find, I don't mean actually go looking, I mean think in your head and try and feel. So imagine that you're desperate for that poo or that wee, um, and you're just clenching. If you clench all of everything down there all together, that's fine. Don't clench your bum cheeks while you're doing it, and don't pull your tummy in. You've really just got to isolate those muscles. So try, first of all, either lying down or just sitting down nice and relaxed. It takes a little bit of practice. Once you've found them, remember they're a small group of muscles, so exercising 100 clenches is not going to do very much good at all. So try and clench and release, clench and release for about 5 to 10 times, okay, and then do 5 quick clench and release. It's perfectly fine to do your pelvic floor muscles if you've had a cesarean section. It's very useful, in fact, and it's very useful and perfectly fine to um, do your pelvic floor exercises if you've had stitches. Any kind of trauma to that area is going to help with the healing process. At first, you may not feel anything at, anything at all, but persevere. It's really important. Um, there is a popular misconception that once you've pushed a baby out of your vagina, it's going to be so different in shape that you're not going to get any pleasure from sex and neither is your partner. That's not true. Um, doing your pelvic floor exercises regularly will help with that and hopefully will prevent you from becoming incontinent so you'll be able to laugh, cough, sneeze, run without weeing yourself, or without fear of weeing yourself. If you continue with your pelvic floor muscles, which we recommend you do uh, throughout your life, and you're still getting continent incontinence problems, then please go and see your doctor. It's not normal. You don't have to put up with it. Really, really important. 
These um, exercises are also very important if you've had an instrumental delivery. You know, you've had a, a, a lot of interference with your vagina, maybe an episiotomy, um, and those muscles have, have taken quite a, quite a lot of damage and you need to get them repaired. So don't be frightened. Um, if you can't feel them, persevere. There is equipment on the market you can get. Have a look. Um, different companies provide different products. Some are like electrical impulse products. They're a bit like the um, pads you put on your tummy to turn your tummy muscles. Some provide weights and they increase in a, a, a series. So as your pelvic floor becomes more toned and you can hold the weight in, you then progress to the heavier weight. All of these things can be done. They're all going to help you. I can't impress upon you enough how important it is. I, as a midwife, are very passionate about the pelvic floor, and I think everyone should be. And a little insider knowledge that as midwives, um, we're very well of the important, aware of the importance of um, the pelvic floor. So when we're telling you to push so that we don't join in and damage ourselves, lots of midwives have trained themselves to clench while you're pushing. So we're doing our pelvic floor while you're pushing. Uh, a little bit of inside information for you there. Okay, so that is the amazing pelvic floor. Do work at it. Um, it. It will improve your quality of life after you've had your baby.